time tackle. Otavio. Now Son. Oh, great vision. That. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Look at that, man. I just randomly switched shirts. I don't know where it came from, but uh, we move. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at the new Team of the Season Otavio card. Uh, this card is a 5'8 player with high, high work rates, right-footed, 4-star skills with a 4-star weak foot. So I'm already in it if he has stamina. 91 stamina, let's get it. Okay, so with Otavio, guys, he's got 99 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, perfect. You don't have to improve the pace at all for this card. Base card stats for shooting is at 99 for attacking positioning to work with the high, high work rates, which is definitely very, very nice. Uh, base card stats for shooting set up really nicely as well with the shot power being super high at a 95 so that when we give him the marksman chemistry style, we'll be boosting his finishing to a 99, shot power to a 99, and then his long shots by a 98 as well. So some good stuff there. His penalties will even be in the 98 area as well which is really dope um base card stats for passing obviously very good too nice to work with the four star weak foot as well as a composure at a solid 90 uh base card stats for dribbling also very nice for this card what is his body type in game what is it oh he's got an average body type but we're gonna see what it's like in game we're gonna see what it's like in game with the marksman chemistry style, we will be boosting the dribbling by a little bit as well in the reactions, ball control, and dribbling department. Remember, with Sancho's card, uh, I didn't mind his dribbling at all, even with the average body type. But Sancho also has so many meta characteristics that it's absolutely ridiculous. But still, this Altavio card still looks pretty cool. We'll see how he plays. Um, then, for his base card stats for defending, he has 72 defensive awareness, which, to be honest with you guys, is actually very helpful to have. Uh, it's kind of cool because right now, don't look at him yet, okay? We, he's extinct. Just just look away. Look away. We've got Otavio on one side and then Corona on the other side as a gameplay objective dude that actually has some defensive stats. So both of these guys could actually be really fun to use in a nice little 4-4-2 setup depending on the types of players we can get um, in a dif different areas. But... With the Marksman Chemistry style, guys, we are also looking at a physical boost for the card, but he also has 93 aggression, which is actually very, very helpful with 91 stamina and then 81 for strength. So the card still looks pretty cool. Uh, to be honest, after seeing this Liga Noche team of the season, I might actually have to uh, do the Icon Swap packs and try to get some of these bad boys in first owner. Couldn't care less if their value is lower and they're probably going to drop later on, but I need to get my first owner FC Porto players. Uh, so with Otavio, we are going to be trying him out in the striker position with some new custom tactics. We're going to be using Snip's custom tactics because I actually enjoyed using his 4-4-2 uh, in his team. But remember that he does have a full meta team. Like, not a single soul is a nuisance in that squad. In this team, there might be, like, three for the full meta aspect, but they're still pretty solid, right? So it should still be a very, very good team to work with. The only instruction that we're going to have for Otavio is just going to be stay central. Him and Ronaldo will both be on the exact same thing. That way we can test how his attacking, yeah, because as you guys know, I use the exact same tactics for Sancho. And, uh, whew, what a card. But let's go try out this bad boy. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot. Fast play, force the opposition to respond. What? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey. Hey, take it easy, Otavio. Hey. Don't make me fall in love with you, brother. Hey. Your, your dribbling's like that? Hey, let's see if that's a consistent thing. Oh, he actually scores that. Love the way that he swiped at the ball right there. Look at that. The swipe is literally what makes me score that opportunity. Let's go. Oh, the attacking air is doing the thing for me so far. It's doing the thing for me so far. I like it. Hold on. Oh, I love that movement. If I actually did a first-time fake shot and then I did the through pass downwards, I would have been in a great spot there. Guys, his dribbling with the average body type is perfectly fine. I thought the average body type was going to affect the card more. It doesn't. Oh, I thought he was going to score from there. 
That's a super low percentage strike, and he still hits it like a monster. The visitor's possession stats are brilliant. Really started to dictate the tempo of this game. Nice, he adjusts his run. Let's go! Oh my god, a card that's ported that does the meta stuff. Look, go, go, go. Yes! I love it, dude. Oh, Otavio, do the thing. Do the thing, Otavio. Pass it off. Bang. Oh, what a save. Two examples there of why this game is awful. One, 100% attack on Juan Basaka. And two, Rashford misses that? Like, what? And that's shots, man. Inside the 18, you gotta be careful of those bad boys. Oh, and I thought I was still gonna score that. I did the wrong skill move right there because I actually had the uh, 45 against the goalkeeper. I should have gone for the heel to heel once he was pushing me. Just a first-time strike, bro. First-time strike, he gets into the air area, that's it. I love it, dude. So, for me, guys, honestly, I like him a lot as a striker. I would totally use him as a striker, no problem at all. I am noticing the high, high work rates, because sometimes he, the way that he comes back into the midfield position when I'm attacking and defending in certain cases is very, very noticeable, just in this situation here. Like, look at Ronaldo and then look at Otavio, right? But... It's like a good balance, like the high, high next to the high, low. It's like pretty decent to work with. But for me, in the right mid position, this card would be absolutely class. Like left mid, right mid, because the high, high work rates of pushing forward and coming back. Whew. He's like, he's like a, he's a card that's meta oriented that I can actually use. It's from FC Porto. That's fun, man. This card's like Tademi. Like even if they give him like an SBC, he's a physical type striker. So it's harder. But this card's sick so far. Oh, I don't, <laughs> it's no penalty. Uh, I, I mean, listen, the guy wasn't controlling him, that's, so that would have sucked just from that, but it is still a foul, but this game is flawed, so it's all good. We're chilling. Oh, I love that he starts to adjust himself. You see how he started to make that run to the right side, but then he went upwards? That was awesome. Look at that constant adjustment, my dude. Power strike near post. Wasn't even the right option there, but I, I love the adjustments, man. I really do. The adjustments are great. Oh, and I almost got that there, too. Almost got that. Oh, that was a terrible angle to shoot from, and I still hit it really nicely. Let's go. Dude, his dribbling responsiveness when I need those like last second left stick touches is actually solid, man. Whoa, this card is sick, man. Oh, I'm so happy. An FC Porto car that's actually so dope. Oh, let's go, man. Guys, look at this guy's team, bro. You think Otavio's not gonna wreck havoc? He's gonna wreck havoc, my boy. Don't you worry. Oh, my God. He even shot that with his left foot. Did you guys see how he held the onside position? This card is so sick, man. This card is so sick, dude. What? He's performing way better than I thought he would, bro. Oh, no shot. He missed that. You know why he missed that? You want to know why he missed that? Because he's got 81 volleys. <laughs> I mean, you know, when there's no pressure, I mean, let him score. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. I'm okay with it when there's like a little bit of pressure, but by himself, like I don't agree with that. Well -time tackle. Otavio. Now Son. Oh, great vision. 
That was an insane play, guys. This card's overpowered, man. Except for that volley part, this card is so good, man. Oh my god, I'm so happy that I have an FC Porto player that's like meta. Woo! He's not full meta, but it's a meta card, dude. Oh yeah, first time strike, that's a Jeej. Jeej, first time strike, bro. I'm already inside the 18. He sees the space immediately, bro. Oh my goodness. I'm so, I'm so excited. If you can't tell, I'm excited because he's actually the meta card to use in this game. Woo! Oh, and I still got it. I love his last second left stick dribbling, man. I love it, dude. His last second left stick dribbling is so sick. I still got a foul from that. <laughs> oh, he messed up. I messed up there too. I didn't. I. I don't know if I should have gone for a chip. If he had five star skills, I would have gone for that like backwards chip because it would have actually been effective there. But this card is insane, guys. Guys, I know you guys are gonna think that I'm doing this for sentimental value FC. But I'm actually so happy that this card is meta-oriented in this game because of him being an FC Porto player. Like, it's... I'm telling you guys, use this card yourself. You're going to really enjoy using him. He's actually insane. This card is so freaking good, man. Oh, I'm so happy an FC Porto player that is meta. Woo! Okay. So the review part. Guys, everything just makes sense for this card. The only thing that I was super concerned about is the main two things, right? It's the dribbling because of the average body type, and it's the attacking AI. His attacking AI, even with the high, high work rates, is amazing. Adapts every single time, which is absolutely incredible. It works really well with his pace, guys, because listen, he's a 5'8 player with 99 acceleration and 95 sprint speed for base card stats. So when he has to adapt to a different attacking AI play, he does it really quickly. But not only that, because his base card stats for 99 attacking positioning is there, he holds the position so well. But the thing that impressed me the most, man, was the shooting. His shooting is unbelievable. He chooses incredible uh, shooting animations to score his opportunities. Even when he shot with his left foot, I'm like, why is he shooting with his left foot? And he's still buried in the bottom left corner. Oh, I'm so happy that this card is good. I'm so happy because I was so concerned about the average body type affecting the card too much in the dribbling department, but it genuinely doesn't matter. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like he mostly belongs in the side positions. I think he's going to be incredible in the side positions, but if I use him as a striker, I would have so much fun with him as long as you have a balance, right? So in this team, I had Ronaldo as the striker with the high low, and then we have Otavio next to him with the high high and both stay central. So the balance between the two is just a sick sick combination to work with guys guys i'm telling you this right now this card is so cheap to try out try him out guys you guys will be shocked if you can get the alex tellers rare gold card which maybe went up in price potentially well i guess we'll see if he went up in price guys just try him out with the rare gold tellers you guys are gonna have so much fun with this card. i'm telling you he's so freaking good hopefully you guys enjoy the video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys